In addition to star ratings, we can also apply flags to our photos. Flags can be used for many different things. For example, say you import an entire collection but want to flag images that require further adjustments. To apply a flag, hover your mouse over the image you'd like to apply a flag to. As soon as you do that, at the top left corner, you'll see that little flag icon. Go ahead and click on that icon, and the flag is now applied. Another way to apply flags is to highlight the images you'd like to apply the flags to. So say for example, I want to apply it to 4, 13, and 22. So I've selected these images, and all I got have to do now is press the flag key on one of them, and all three of them now have a flag. A shortcut method is to press the P key on your keyboard. So let's go ahead and select some others. So five, six, and seven. I'll press the P key on my keyboard and you'll see the flags have now been applied. In addition to these methods, we can also paint the flag on with our paint can. So I'll go ahead and select the paint can. I'll change it from rating to flag. And I'll make sure that from this menu here, I have flagged selected. We don't want to unflag or reject them. And then I can just paint on the flags. If you hold your left mouse button down and drag, you can do a whole bunch at once. Now once again, you want to make sure you put your paint can back. You don't want to accidentally flag anything you didn't intend to. To remove a flag from your images, highlight the images you'd like to remove them from, and just press the U key on your keyboard and the flags will be removed. Now these flags are actually known as pick flags because they're images you've picked that you want to work on perhaps in the develop module if you want to make adjustments to them. In addition to pick flags, we also have reject flags. Reject flags can be used to easily identify images that you want to remove from a collection at some point in the future. To apply a reject flag to an image, highlight the images you'd like to apply the reject flag to. Now I've highlighted images one through seven, and press the X key on your keyboard. And that is what a reject flag looks like there. You can see the little X through it, and it's also black in color versus the white ones. To remove the reject flags, just press the U key again on your keyboard, and that'll remove them. You can also paint reject flags on, select your paint can, and this time change it from flagged to rejected, and you can do it that way. To convert the rejected flags into flagged images, just change the item to flagged and paint over. I'm going to put the paint can back, and I'm just going to select a few images here to apply the reject flag to. So images one through seven, just apply the reject flag, and then click on the first image to unselect the remaining ones.